Hello YouTube. Uh, Thomas here. I'm back again. Um, wow, this looks bad. I think I need to wipe my camera. Hold on. Okay, maybe a little bit better. Um, some of the glare is coming from the glass itself because uh, it gets a little streaky. But um, this video is really about not much at all. But I'm running out of ideas here. I just, for the first time ever, trimmed this Monte Carlo. I've never really trimmed it before and I mow it down so I mean it's it's flat it's like a lawn now and it knocked a bunch of the algae off of it so hopefully this keeps the algae off but this is the Monte Carlo's last chance I trimmed it down real good and uh, that's seriously the last chance I'm almost about done with this Monte Carlo if, uh, if it keeps growing algae and doesn't I mean it's growing better but it still grows algae on it too so if it keeps growing algae um, I'm gonna yank it out and probably do dwarf baby tears I'm gonna try that um, I've never tried dwarf baby tears before but I think I could do them pretty good because the best plants that I have the most luck with in here are the highlight ones Monte Carlo is a medium light plant a lot of people say high light but it's actually medium light so maybe my light is a problem back here in the arcuatus the tops are doing great um, some of the undersides underneath there have a little bit of algae on them left over i am trying to grow the tops out and then i'll clip those off maybe knock the bottom leaves off and replant them in there the albeda crypts they're doing good they're staying red um, i moved one there but since I've put in the new Phoenix light you know the stuff in the front's growing better um, I did get some more um, what's it called uh, Helanthum Helanthum Tenellum uh, Pygmy Chainsword I did get another little pot of it at Petco so I put one plug here, it's starting to run her there, so that's good. And um, the hydrocoddle is kind of getting out of control over there. The hydrocoddle that I moved to here is getting a little bit out of control. But the uh, pygmy chain sword here, uh, it looks pretty good. And it's starting to get reds in it, so it's you know looking okay. Um, this new red plant I bought five stems of on eBay, I forget what it's even called, I, it's hard for me to pronounce. But um, I'll, I'll uh, get the name later. Uh, I moved this little Visitans Fontanus Phoenix Moss little mat down over here. I, uh, re I ripped up all the uh, lucens except for I have one lucens left right here. But since I ripped the one out of here, there's less algae in this area. There's still a little bit of algae that kind of tries to grow a little bit, a little bit of fur on some of the flamingos. And uh, I get a little bit of algae here and there on the wood, but it's not too bad now. So, I mean, the algae problem is a lot better. Uh, since I did a Monte Carlo trim, I know I'm all over the place here. Sorry, uh, bear with me. My mind is scattered. But um, since I did a Monte Carlo trim, I had the Eheim skimmer in here, and then I, I pulled out the little sponge and took all the little pieces out of it started the filters back up and everything and then I've just pulled the top off and put it back in here just to help flow things around a little bit uh, this filter doesn't remove a lot of pieces of things from the water like some filters do but that's because it's mainly a skimmer because the bottom part is down in here so it does skim from the surface it still has great flow so the outflow being that good means the inflow is really great. It does flow from right there. And even with the overflow, it uh, almost acts as a kind of a sump or a wet dry type. You know, it adds, adds a lot of oxygen to the water. It doesn't affect the flow. The flow is still great. It just means most of the flow is coming from the top. But even with that going on, my drop checker stays green. And uh, I keep it a yellowish green. I mean, that's just how I keep it but you know the fish Ellie's got no stress and the little 
little shrimp, little cherry shrimp and the monos, they got no stress. They show no signs of stress whatsoever over the CO2 or anything. Um, snails and everybody, they all look fine. You can see them mono here. I mean, he's cool. So, running with the uh, heavy CO2, with my bubbles coming out that so fast, uh, you can't count them. If I try to, if I try to, down in here, if I try to run the dial back, close it a little bit on the CO2, it goes to like drip, 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 like a slow bubble count. And that's too slow. And I try to open it a tiny bit, it opens up. You know the bubbles come out really fast so I've kind of got it in somewhere in between but um this area over here the little bit of dwarf hair grass that was left in there I just knocked all of it down while I trimmed the Monte Carlo because I mean if it grows back it does if it doesn't it doesn't but pygmy chains doing good over here so maybe that'll fill in and um, we'll see how that goes and we'll see we'll see if any of the Monte Carlo comes in there is Monte Carlo over here but every time I sweep the carpet off, like, um, I get in here and, you know, there'll be, you know, pieces from the shrimp and all that. And I, I sweep this carpet off. I just sweep it off. So, um, I have to be careful sweeping this area because if I sweep too much, I do float up pieces of Monte Carlo that I've planted. Like that little piece, you can see there's some in there, like right there. So I am trying to get the Monte Carlo growing in here, and there is some growing. Like if I if I work at it a little bit, there you see some growing in. But the problem is when I sweep over it, it knocks up little pieces. So it's a double-edged sword. But I mean, all in all, things seem to be doing okay. There's there's some uh, there's some Marsalea hirsuta, and see there's another little piece of couple more plants that I've gotten there. There's some more Marsalea right there. There's some Monte Carlo. So, yeah, I'm trying not to bury this stuff really. Uh, I don't know. Every once in a while I get a siphon hose and I just run over there and I siphon up a bunch of the stratum from spots that have too much. And then I just drop them in spots that need more. I, my skimmer starts bobbing when I disturb the water too much. So when that happens, I just back down on the flow a little bit. So it stops sucking air bubbles in there. But anyways, it's neither here nor there. I know this video is all over the place. And it doesn't have exactly lots of good info about anything. But I mean, I don't know. I, it's, it's still kind of a little update what's going on. I did get an extra nerite. I got two more Amanos this morning from my Petco. So they're in here somewhere. One of them was blue and one of them was green, so that's cool. Um, I know they'll change color on their own. But uh, this little area is kind of stumped me. I'm not sure if I should just keep this little plug of fissidens there, but that's probably just going to keep get, getting algae in it like it does. There's less algae in this fissidens because it was um, in the shade because the light was in the back of the tank, but now that the light covers the entire tank, even this fissidens is open to a lot of light. But hopefully with the extra plant growth here, and hopefully with the carpet growing in good, with less algae, little more carpet, little less algae, um, algae problem seems to be backing off a little bit. Um, the bush back here, Rotalas, the H raws back here, they are starting to get their new sprouts up top. They're tiny right now, but they are coming in. So those are growing back. I'll get a dense push of those again. The Rotala SP Green's doing good over here in the front. So it's gonna go from green to kind of an orangey pink to kind of a red, hopefully. But if they don't redden up, they're just gonna all look the same. But that's a basic update on what's going on in here and uh it is what it is i'm running out of ideas i need to fill the gap over here this needs to fill in if not i'm going to get another carpet for it this fails i'm ripping it out doing dwarf baby tears so that's